Over the past 30 years at WFAA, we know Gloria Campos has made a difference, but her Wednesday's child reports are a true inspiration. Since 1989, Gloria has helped abused or neglected children or those in foster care find loving parents. Last year, the Wednesday's Child Organization says of more than 6,600 North Texas children in foster care, only 2% were adopted by new families. That's why it's an effort that is so important to WFAA and to Gloria. Here's Cynthia Isaguirre. 14-year-old Keontae is full of life and laughter, <laughs> largely because of his parents. If someone said, I'll offer you money for your parents, I'd say, heck no. You they're worth more than what you've got. In 2007, when Keontae was just eight years old, Gloria Campos featured him as a Wednesday's child who had already learned the golden rule. Treat people the way you want to be treated. After a failed adoption and disappointment, Gloria did another report on Keontae two years later in hopes the second time would be the charm. I have been moved through different homes, and the adoption didn't go very well. Carol and Scott Cook saw Keontae's video and knew right away he was their son. He just kind of spoke to us through the video. It just seemed like he was talking to us. I'd like to say thank you for putting him on a second time because not only did you bring us the child that God wanted us to have and we wouldn't have seen him otherwise, um, but you've also helped touch millions through him being able to talk about his story. Two years ago, Keontae spoke before Congress, describing his four years in foster care, where he felt he was over-medicated with mind-altering drugs. What did that medication do to you? Uh, well, when I first arrived at my parents' house, my mom said that she'd woke it up and went in my room and found me walking in circles. Now a healthy young man completely off medication, Keontae is a runner, avid hiker, and a great dancer. He knows this all might not have been possible without Gloria's persistence in finding him a home. I want to say to her that I think, uh, thank you so much because um, you've made my life worthwhile and that uh, you've helped me become the person I am right now and I probably would have been worse off had you not helped me out. He's definitely our, our son, our child, and, and we love him very much. In Plano, Cynthia Seguirre, Channel 8 News. It is so good to see Keontae. We were just sitting there at Keontae. Oh, he was a karate boy. And so smart, John. And it broke my heart when that first adoption did not go through for him. I'll bet, because he seemed like quite a young man. Oh, very smart. And obviously, he's with the right family. He at is last. with the right family. In at fact, last. he's with the right family. Oh, my God. <laughs> I can't believe it's you. Thanks so much. Thank you for this big surprise. I'm so happy that you're happy. I am. You are, right? Yeah, I'm happy. And you love your family. Yeah. Thank you for coming. No problem. Good to see you. Good to see you too. Proud of you. Yeah. <laughs> Okay, See? that's quite a surprise. Of course it's a surprise. It was, we're full of surprises this week for you. Thank you. But a uh, very special young man that you've changed his life and many other lives. As I said before, he, he helped me too. There we go. Pete Delkus has uh, our weather tonight, and hopefully he can help us. With I, I'm doing all I can right now to cry, not cry here, John. It has been a very touchy night, and I know we have a couple more days of that, something we're certainly all looking forward to. And you know what? He wants to study broadcasting. Yes, that's right. Yeah, yeah. Hey, you know, it's such a great night. We, we really appreciate everybody coming, joining Gloria with all this. It's been such a great night, such a great weekend. You know what? It's not over yet. That's right. We'll see you tomorrow.